It's a sweeping landscape suited to a National Trust treasure, yet there's no stately home here, only a concrete accommodation block. But it's the austere post-war architecture of the brutalist era that's to be put on show by the charity in tours of iconic, if not always loved, locations like the University of East Anglia. Well, we've decided recently that the Trust shouldn't just talk about the things it owns, it should talk about important periods of British architecture. And we think that, like it or not, the Brutalist period, really from the 60s into the 70s, was a really uniquely British and interesting period. Peer over the edges and it can feel like a dismal multi-storey. But what might be a concrete monstrosity to some is an example of dramatic and daring design to others. Brutalism is about functionality and you can't beat a design that allows students to stumble out of bed to this building known as the teaching wall for seminars. But there are those that argue that close to half a kilometre of unbroken concrete would dull anyone's desire to learn. It doesn't stop the UEA being the country's second best university for student satisfaction. When it's miserable outside, it does look like a concrete jungle, but when the sun comes out, everyone flocks to the square, they have drinks on the stairs. The architecture, I think, is basically disgusting. Um, it's the sort of thing that if I were setting a film in communist Russia, this is the place I would use. It's got a concrete frame and these concrete cladding panels, which are cast in steel. David Luckhurst was the architect in charge of completing this building. The concrete, he says, fitted with the era. Um, the time was, was an austere time after, after the Second World War, and this reflected austerity um, um, and the need to economise and, and concentrate on what the, uh, the designers of the time thought was important, which was that buildings should be exciting in their form, um, and concrete was a wonderful material to, to do that. There's certainly been significant interest in the tours. Tickets to look around the classically brutalist South Bank Centre in London sold out in one day. And while structures built from slabs of concrete may not be everyone's cup of tea, the National Trust is keen to convince detractors they're much more than blots on the landscape. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Norwich.